In this episode, someone will die. In a comic book. Not literally, right? Uh, we'll see. It's time for Thwip, the Big, the Big Marvel, Marvel Show! Show! Hey, Marvelites, I am Lorraine Sink. And I'm Ben Morse, filling in for H&M. And this is Thwip, the Big Marvel Show, where we talk about everything that is Marvel in the Marvel Universe and beyond. It's time for Marvel Trending! <laughs> If you're a super cool person, you probably went to your local comic book shop that was participating last night and got a free issue of Previews Magazine detailing Marvel Now's fall lineup, as well as Civil War II, number three. Big event last night. Yeah, you had to be up late because it opened at midnight. Aw, uh, yeah, but we have some highlights, some of our favorite titles from that magazine that we're going to talk about right now. Such as Champions, written by Mark Wade, art by Umberto Ramos. It's the young heroes of the Avengers in the Marvel Universe. Miss Marvel, Nova, it's totally awesome Hulk, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Viv, The Vision, the Cyclops. Vision's daughter. They're all busting out and saying, hey adults, we don't need you anymore. We're going to go on our own adventures. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be radtastic. And then we also have Invincible Iron Man, who is now going to be featuring Riri Williams, super genius from MIT, written by Brian Michael Bendis, with art by Stefano Caselli. It's going to be super awesome. Tony is going to be making a little room for some Iron Riri. And speaking of Brian Michael Bendis, he is coming back to a character he famously created, oh, yeah. Jessica Jones. He's going to be reuniting with the original artist, Michael Gatos. They're going to be doing a new series titled Jessica Jones, starring Jessica Jones. All the Jessica Jones you could want from the men who made it happen. All the time. All Jessica Jones all the time. All Jessica you Jones. You guys might like her because of a certain Netflix original mm -hmm. series called Marvel's Jessica Jones. Also, we have Death of X by Charles Soule and Jeff Lemire with art by Aaron Cooter, and it's going to be this awesome thing where bad things happen. Yeah. It's sad. <laughs> and finally, if you like Deadpool, if you like the Mercs for Money, awesome. you're going to be very excited because all the Mercs are money, for Money are breaking out, getting their own titles. We've got Solo, we've got Fool Killer, we've got Slapstick, we've got a Mercs for Money ongoing, we've got a Deadpool ongoing. What more could you possibly want? What more could you possibly Whoa, ben, want? Ben, Ben, Ben. Wait, can I tell you something that makes me really happy, though? Solo is getting a solo title. Da, 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 da. Hey. And speaking of comics, we should talk about our comic book picks of the week. Our comic book pick of the week this week is Civil War II, number three. Ben and I are sharing it this week because we're good sharers, but it won't stop us from having a Civil War. It's written by Brian Michael Bendis with art by David Marquez. Colors by Justin Pons or letters by Clayton Cowles. This is a huge turning point in the Civil War II series, Lorraine. And it's got feels. It's got sad feels, you guys, because somebody dies. Somebody I like dies. Ben dies. No, what? Well, yeah. Ben I like me very much. Jay Morse. Yeah. Co-host of Thwip. Interim co-host of Thwip. It was the death <laughs> no one saw coming. It's the death no one cared about. <laughs> but no, seriously, someone major no, dies someone in this issue. much more major than Ben Morris Huge. dies. Huge, <laughs> yeah, so you know that's a big deal. Someone dies, people are held accountable. There's a trial. Oh yeah, there's a whole tribunal. There's a lawying done. Yeah, some lawyering. <laughs> lawying. Lawying. Lawying is what it's called, right? Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. All the characters in the Marvel Universe are featured. We get the reaction to the big death. We get the reaction to this trial that's going on. It's huge. This is this is a huge, huge issue. And and like Civil War II, nothing is an easy answer ever. Mm -hmm. Speaking of not easy answers, it's time for the Marvel Debate Club. Today on Marvel Debate Club, we are arguing the premise of Civil War II. Should you use predictions of the future to change it. Arguing today, we have Jake Thomas, editor, arguing pro for Team Carol, and we have editor Daniel Ketchum, arguing anti for Team Tony. Now, because you believe in predictive justice, you get to call the prediction heads or tails. Heads. All right, you got it. It worked in your favor. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you get to choose. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. Oh, that's so gentlemanly of you. Mm. All right, you get 30 seconds to make your opening argument. All right. 
Pro-predictive justice. We use predictive justice in the sense that we're using it in Civil War II every day. You wake up, you check the weather report, and if it says rain, you put on rain gear. If it says snow, you wear your snowshoes. What you're doing is assessing all of the information, looking towards the future to predict what will likely happen, and then you take steps to deal with it however you want. The better you deal with it, the better the outcome, obviously, but this is something that we all do, is, is using your intelligence, foresight, and knowledge to make informed uh, decisions. So the gauntlet has been thrown. Do you want to just ignore the knowledge in your brain? Aw, snap. It's your argument, Daniel Ketchum. <laughs> Thank you, Lorraine. Listen, Jake Thomas, that's all good and fine, but we are not talking about the weather here. We're talking about people's lives. When we're messing with uh, the idea that someone might do something or might commit a crime, and then we go to intervene, where is their due process? That's not how justice works in this country. We can't go and punish someone for something that they haven't done. With maybe the idea that perhaps they have the intent, we don't know. This is not certainties here. If it was certainties, it might be a very different discussion. But because this is all just some game of ratios, I don't think that we can base anything off of that. Oh, snap, game of ratios. Look at that timing. Yeah, that was really well good. timed. Okay. Almost as if you had some sort of predictor, but you wouldn't use it. Uh, <laughs> Jake Thomas, would you like to make a rebuttal? Uh, I would love to make a rebuttal, sure. <laughs> we are, in fact, dealing with people's lives. You are correct. And let's say we have a prediction that Daniel Ketchum, in a fit of jealous rage that he did not wear a snappy blazer or some rad facial hair, decides he wants to come after me and do me harm. We have an idea that this is going to happen. We think this might happen. I want someone to take action and stop Daniel Ketchum from coming after me. I don't want them to necessarily throw you in jail, but would some action to stop this thing that we believe is likely to happen be good? Oh. Yes, I think so. I'll cut off a little bit early, but I think we know that he has thrown a personal gauntlet down <laughs> at you. Would you like to make a rebuttal? Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> I would. So, Jake Thomas, let me start by saying, you should not come for me, because I will read you. I will read you, and then I will read your books, so then there will be one person reading your books. Oh, oh. come on now. Let's check the numbers on these books, sir. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, and let's say, with this facial hair and everything, we've glimpsed the future. Let's hope you can change. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is that really all you have? I mean, like, that was a pretty good rebuttal. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on to closing arguments. Jake Thomas, make your final case to the audience. All right. Who, who is right? Well, obviously I'm right. Uh, <laughs> and why I'm right is, uh, again, we want to protect ourselves, we want to protect our loved ones, and we want to do that in the most informed way possible. Any information we have that can help us make the world a better, safer place, we should use. How we use it is uh, something to be debated and argued and worked on, but to simply throw out a large wealth of knowledge, experience, and education just because we're worried that something might not turn out exactly right is foolish. Oh, and your closing statement, sir. The future is not a fixed point. As soon as you go to act on it, everything changes. And in fact, if you prevent that future from happening, then that prediction wasn't right because it was never the future. That was never going to happen. The problem with this entire system is that it rests in the people who are carrying it out. And with the huge margin of error, the fact that it's not 100% accurate to begin with, and then you have the human element added into it, which we've seen has not gone so well, <laughs> I would say that we cannot reasonably use the system. And there you guys have it. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us what you guys think. Are you Team Carol or Team Tony? Tell us down in the comments or on social media. And hashtag Marvel Thwip. Are you guys going to be okay after this? Are no. you gonna... Oh, absolutely not. We were never okay to begin with. <laughs> Situation oh. normal. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Well, then, let's go back to an uncomfortable afternoon together. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for Social Hour. Hey guys, it's social hour. Yay. It's not that social. Oh, Ben. Sorry. You're so excited about it. Yeah, I really love social hour. Do you? Yeah, it's my favorite ben segment. Ben is really lonely. And this is his big moment when he gets to read tweets to people who want to talk to him. Exactly. It's like what I do at home, but, you know, with a camera crew. 
Okay. <laughs> We're going to just let that one sit there. Our first comment comes from Carla MF, who says, Lorraine, you and Judy are awesome. Hearts, hearts. So happy to meet you both at Chili Comic Con. Also, I'm so happy to see myself in Marvel Thwip. Oh, yes. Thank you so much to all of the people in Chile who were nice enough to show their cosplays off for mm -hmm. our little video package that was in our in one of our last episodes. Very cool. Jonathan so Jennings says that stark mustache that Lorraine Sink had on her face was too funny. I think she should do a Medusa makeover. Oh, what would that require? Snap. Just more hair. Just like extensions galore. Yeah, I'm going to get Weave Tastic up in this and I I'm, I'm going to get Inhuman Weave. I'd like to see it. Props. <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe. <laughs> you wish it and it could come true. Okay, James says, James Stark plays says, you ever just die of laughter? No. <laughs> no, obviously not. We're alive. No, we're here. We're hosting the show. Also, Come on, spoiler, James. Spoiler, Civil War number three. Someone, Someone dies, dies of, of laughter. laughter. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that's our tweets for today. Thank you so much for watching Marvel Thwip. And we want to know this week, answer our question or die. Civil War II style of laughter. <laughs> Our question is, who is your favorite new teen character? Is it Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan? Is it Amadeus Cho as Totally Awesome Hulk? Or is it Riri Williams as Iron Riri? Tell us. And hashtag Marvel Thwip on social media and on YouTubes, Yubtubs, anywhere. Across the just write it graffiti just, style on the side of yeah, the wall. Yeah, and then send us a wall. picture of it. Or yeah, don't. do that. That's just a cool idea. By. No, wait, no, That's no, no, really no cool. don't. Oh, no. Don't graffiti. Right. Don't. Unless it's your wall, ask your parents. I've Kids, ask your parents' permission. <laughs> this is really devolved, but thanks so much for watching Thwip, the Big Marvel Show. I'm Lorraine Sink. And I'm still Ben Morse. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching Thwip, the big Marvel show. If you like this, please like it, subscribe, and watch our last episode. Also check out these other great videos. They're hilarious. Ben, are you okay? Ben! Ben! Are you okay, Ben?